Welcome! Inspired by the Warfare and Weapons course of Manchester University, we decided to explore the bows of ancient Egypt and experiment with the manufacture. And these are our results. It was midsummer, 1208 BC. Merim Ptah knew that his archers and chariots could not overcome the massed ranks of the enemy infantry in a head-on fight. Instead, he cleverly drew the opposing forces towards the Egyptian lines whilst archers positioned on either flank directed volley after volley of raking fire against the advancing soldiers. After six hours of carnage, the Libyan coalition was finished. Then came the Egyptian chariot charge, turning defeat into rout and pursuing the fleeing enemy until all were either dead or captured. We took one of Howard Carter's original sketches, 48F here, and put it into a technical drawing package and it's incredible how accurate the uh, bow, the arc of the bow actually is. It's about, from the length, it's about 1-7 ratio to the radius of the arc, which is incredibly accurate. The making of an Egyptian bow. This was Mission Impossible, how to steam and boil 20 pieces of wood while my wife is at a friend's having coffee. Analyzing Howard Carter's cards, they showed many different constructions of laminations, and this one intrigued me, as the bars of wood went the wrong way, from front to back rather than across, as they would normally do in a lamination, so we tried to replicate it. Then onto finishing and pressing, but as my weights were not enough, I thought I would enlist some help of some heavy Egyptian reading. Oh, and just so that Joyce Tilsley can say that she helped. The results were surprisingly good, and I'm impressed at the strength, even though we left it a week before trying it out so that the glue could dry. And now on to the more traditional lamination. From steaming my wood, I could quickly shape it into this peg jig. And once it, the wood was dry, then we would apply the glue and then clamp it back up again. And we left it again for about another week before we tested it. So had to make some arrows, and we bound them in exactly the same way as the old fellows would have done, only we used cotton instead of things like nettles. Finished bows. The shapes and designs following two designs from the hoard of bows found in Tutankhamun's tomb. Testing. We managed to test the pull of the bows versus that of a fiberglass bow that we have. Our would-be Egyptian hunter modelling a new fashion in bows out in the open for some long-range testing. It was a bit difficult to get the arrows in shot, but we had some good fun shooting them around, and we think that they turned out fantastically. So there you have it, from analysis to working bow, we've been extremely impressed at just how sophisticated, actually, some of the technology of the Egyptians actually had to be able to manufacture these weapons. Thank you very much for watching.